So hello, very warm welcome to the VR uh, show. The show which talks about all the various major football leagues in detail. Today we have a very special guest. We have Mr. Vital Burkelsman, who was the former coach of Jordan and also a very very established player himself. So first, I would like to thank Vital for coming on the show, taking out time from his uh, schedule and coming and you know like honoring us with his presence. Thank you so much. And uh, I would like to ask you, begin by asking you, how are you? And you know like what have you what have you been doing these days? Um for me now I'm very good. I'm sitting with my family uh and say five days we going uh, have a holiday in Spain. Uh everything is good. Uh, the the health of my family is very good and this is very important. And now I have time for for my family. Definitely. And you like I wanted to ask like like since you have been involved in football for quite a while and generally you know you have to travel during football whether you are in the coaching staff or as a player you need to travel and you need to get most of the times you are away from your family so how do you cope with that like we do, like we doing uh, with you now talking uh, on zoom and uh, many time on telephone and sometimes uh, is coming the family is coming to to the place where i'm training um but sometimes it's difficult when you have like 3 or 4 months you going uh, to this country and you traveling and you make tournaments okay uh, this can happen but uh, the family is very strong and i can say uh, we do it very well definitely and for you how has it been because you you have been doing it for quite a while you know starting all the way from playing and you know like now you're coaching you're going to different places how was it for you like do you like traveling yeah um you know i when i was player i traveling also a long time um, and when i was coach with the national team of belgium second coach uh we were traveling all the world uh, with with this players and now also with jordan you traveling always like uh, same area like dubai qatar uh, kuwait iraq iran syria and this area and yeah i'm i'm used it uh, i'm i'm used it and for me i can live a long time uh, in hotels and and working different 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 so i'll get maybe two more basic question maybe difficult How did you first get involved in football? Sorry. How did you start football? How did you get involved in football? Oh, this is a long time ago. Why? When I was young, six, seven years, uh, with my family, my brothers, uh, my nephews, and and then okay, the school, and I stopped very early with school. I work uh, like four years and a half uh, in the coal mine uh, every day. I go uh, one kilometer under the ground working, and then I have a lucky that I come. I train in second division, play in second division, and then I have lucky that I go to the first division, and then start everything very quick. And I am always thinking positive. Uh, I think never negative, uh, and this is my spirit, and I believe in this, and, and for me it's just very good. Defend. You of course had a successful career representing your national team. For uh, I think that is a success. I think everyone would want to dream of. You know, like going in any country would want to present represent your national team, and you have done that. So I wanted to ask you, like, when you were playing, did you always want to be a coach when you were playing? Well, you don't know it. Uh, I played till forty one uh, in the high level in Bruges, and um, then. I stop uh, two years and then starting with coaching and and then I starting with the national team of Belgium four years and a half and then I wrote three years and a half uh, with Jordan. Yeah, I like coaching. Um, I'm I'm a coach like uh, like me. Let me say like a player. Um, I'm not always strict the coach, but sometimes I'm thinking like a like a player. and we have a very good connection with the player and this is for me very important for you personally which one do you prefer do you prefer playing or being a coach playing why it's much easier 
as a coach, as a coach, you must thinking uh, like between 40 and 50 play, uh, people, like the staff, the players. And as a player, you must thinking only for your position and fighting for your position. It's, it's so easy that you're playing, playing players the best, best job ever you have. Definitely. And you know, like, I'll, I'll touch on uh, the Belgium thing where you were an assistant, uh, I think, for where, till 2016 when you were part of the team. How was it like, you know, like uh, you represented the team and then you also were involved in the coaching stuff, you know, like with your national team. Was that something you always wanted to experience? Look, you you must be, be lucky. Um, when I was working in the national team of Belgium, and we started in 2000, uh, 2012, this is, um, yeah, amazing. I, I know it, uh, you 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 are coaching Eden Azar, De Bruyne, company, uh, Lukaku, uh, Thibaut Courtois, and and we go directly to the World Cup uh, 90, uh, 2014. And uh, uh, oh my, my wife's talking always too much. Eh? No, not a problem. No, no, no. <laughs> and, now we're starting to uh, make a good, good, uh, good tournament. We are the youngest team uh, in the World Cup in uh, Brazil. And yeah, we make amazing, amazing uh, camp. We are qualifying or we lose against uh, Argentina. And then there come the big tournament in Europe, ECA, and we lost uh, and everybody was disappointing against Wales. But this is football. You can win against bigger teams and you can also lose against small teams. And this is what I so like in football. Never, never, you know, when you win or you lose. And, you know, like after that, you went to Jordan and I think uh, it was very drastic change. We are coming from Belgium to Jordan. How did that happen? Yeah, they called me. Uh, first, I was... Um, uh, helping uh, Jordan as an uh, assistant coach. And after one month, they say, no, you must be uh, the head coach. You say, okay, yeah, that is good. Um, and then we're starting a camp for the Asian Cup. And we make a lot of good Asian Cup. And I was thinking, um, starting on the ranking 134 or 37. And we make a good uh, results. Uh, we play good. Uh, tactical, we are very strong. We are much. Uh, when you see also now, they they don't score against us many clubs. Now also in in ten games we have three goals against us. There's nothing, and and this is very important. And this country have a lot of good players, and I believe in this country. But okay, it is finished now, and I look forward and maybe. In the future, have another one, uh, another team, another country that call me and say you like to come to us, and then we can talk. Definitely, and you like I wanted to ask you like you said like how you know like other teams were not able to probably score against you a lot. As a coach, how do you like your team to play? I like to play always uh, attack. I try to to make goals and. There was also um, against uh, when we play against Nepal, when we play against Kuwait, uh, Australian, we have a lot of chances. Also against Kuwait, we have a lot of chances. But you must be lucky. You must be lucky. But against Australian, also, Australian have one big chance and they score. And we have a lot of chances and we don't score. Because then we going home, we are not qualified. And this is, for me, was not good. And okay, my contract was still 18 months and they fired me and now I'm sitting home, I'm waiting, uh, but I, I'm happy. Uh, we did a good, good uh, results. We play good with the young guys. Uh, and I'm happy with, with the guys, with the performance. What is this guy doing on the field? Definitely, definitely. Again. I'll, I'll touch on one thing. Like you recently played against uh, Nepal, also you know, like with Jordan and your own. 
how was it like you know like playing nepal because they have a new coach and uh, everything and i think the, the the spirit of the boys were high because of the new coach how was it playing against nepal this time well i must say it um i know i know uh, how they're playing and i know i say directly to to my my players we must make uh, from the first minute that i did with the first uh, first uh, match uh, pressing and make it difficult uh, when you make when you play high against each team when you play high and you're not strong enough like anyone then you have a lot of chance you can score but when you play around the box in your box then they have more chance to take a goal and i say always to my players also when we are not strong enough i say to them, we must make pressure then we have more chance to to score and they did it uh, against australia and kuwait nepal against uh, we play against paraguay we play against slovakia uh, everybody we did it and we score always against this team and you must more believe in yourself than not only thinking on different when you went when you only thinking on different then you have always a goal inside no yeah that that, that that actually makes sense i want to ask you like during your time with jordan i think you faced two different uh, i think you faced nepal twice with two different coaches yes so was there any difference in the playing style between the two like you feel no um, i know they play 4141 and the midfield player they come inside and okay um, when we play high um, then they have not the chance to to have a score they have one chance in the second half uh, and and that, that that's it but you must believe more in your quality of your player you must give it the good confidence and and say to the, to the player you can score also like any any team they can score but when you only thinking on defense then they will kill everybody then on one moment you make a mistake but i see many things the team of uh, nepal in the first match and in the second match physical they are very strong Where nepal physical are very strong and you must score very quickly and that we did and i'm happy what my guys did against uh, this team but it is not so easy playing against nepal it's not so easy when you are not score early it's very difficult definitely and i want to ask you like in 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 the group itself you know like you had uh, nepal and maybe chinese taipei who were a little bit more off compared to the others and in the other side you had australia who are heavy weights who can you know like regularly participate in the world cup and have many players who play around the top leagues in the world how is it playing these two different sets of you know like teams in the same group you know like how do you you know like motivate the players because they have to be up against every opponent so you know like sometimes you are playing maybe someone who is weaker than you considerably like maybe nepal or maybe chinese people which are not very strong compared to maybe australia how do you motivate your players in that manner look there's um, i say always to 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 my players uh, each team you must play against um, barcelona barcelona real madrid uh, like that you must focus on this and um, and this is is very important um, also when you thinking we playing against nepal and we playing against taipei it is easy then you kill yourself and you must do it in the first minute let's feel it we are here we need this we need to win against this team and this is the same what i doing against australia australia is a, is a very strong team but i say also before the match when you are afraid to play against australian stay inside come not outside then i take another player 
You know what I mean? And this is my spirit, what I give to the players. Any player have quality. Everybody have quality. Also the players of Nepal, the players of Taipei. Every player have quality. But you must put the quality out this player. And I am a coach. Sometimes I'm not a coach. Sometimes I like a brother of the players that they can talk openly with me and I feel good inside of this and they listen very good. They know also I play, I work with big players in the world, the biggest players in the world. I train the biggest players in the world. This They must listen, otherwise I put them on. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And you know, like when you say, like, I'll, I'll touch on one more topic. You know, like going back, uh, you were in charge of like the Belgium. You were the assistant, and you know, like you had huge names under you during that time. But something that has been raised, like you know, over the time is like they have not been able to perform extremely well according to what they have. Like, what do you think is going wrong? You know, because they are all winners. They are one of the best teams in the world right now. What do you think is not happening? Um, I saw Belgium playing now. Belgium uh, play not good. Belgium play in the, in, in the tournament not good. Always with this quality of players, uh, they play on attack. And they know it, uh, Lukaku, very fast. And, and I was a little bit disappointed. Disappointed, I never... I'm a guy, I never give a uh, critic on the, on the coaches, never. But the player must do it and they must believe in themselves. Uh, the game against Italy was for me like, they was thinking more on def defense than uh, making uh, attack for a goal. And Italy was playing very strong, very good. Just for me, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sad that Belgium is not going to the to the same final. Once normally, they have the best players, they have the best names. But you see, Lukaku, um, Eden Hazard is injured. De Bruyne is coming back. Witzel is coming back. No, this was not so easy for Belgium. And of course, they are lose uh, in the in the quarter final. Yeah, definitely. And you like again, like similar to that. I'll just ask you. And uh, you were working with these people who are, like you mentioned, like one of the best. Everyone knows that. Then you come to Jordan, where maybe the quality is not that high compared to maybe Belgium. How do you deal with that, like psychologically? Yes, uh, you must go and put back. You start again with players. Uh, they had not the level of uh, the Belgian players, but they have good level. They have good quality of level. And I saw things where I working on uh, these players. These players love ball. They love the ball. I when I in the first uh, play uh, position games, maybe like seven against seven. I have 14 balls. I need 14 balls. When every player needs a ball, everybody was running and running with the ball. No, we're starting always like two touches and then we're playing. Two touches. Come on, guys, and, and play out of the position. And we train a lot. We train uh, sometimes three, three times in a day when I make a camp. Three times in a day, 7 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 6 o'clock. And then we make a game. I did this always in my camps, seven o'clock, 11 o'clock, six o'clock, three times in a day. And you see the evaluation is coming. And then I saw uh, after the Asian Cup, I have like 14, 15 players make a contract outside of Jordan. Outside of Jordan. It's amazing, never happened. One player play in Europe, uh, Musa play in uh, Belgium. Because they make good contracts. That will all say they have quality. But I'm a coach, I trust, I think positive. I give positive vibes to the, to the players. And 
I can say they take it. Um, I, I'm happy that we play very good. We now on uh, ranking 92 of 93. And for me, it's good, but okay. Sometimes the coach stay long, I'm stay three years, and sometimes the coach stay small. And now I'm free, I'm sitting home. Definitely, definitely. And you like, I'll ask you a few more questions before we wrap up. And uh, uh, one, 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 I, one thing that I wanted to ask you is, like you mentioned, like when you went there, uh, the players were probably, you know, not used to, and they were playing mostly in Jordan. Like after, you, by the time you said, like after the Asian Cup, many of them played outside, uh, outside Jordan in maybe in Europe. Like, and uh, how much of a difference does that, does that make, you know, like going to another country and experiencing the culture and coming? For the players, you know, uh, the most experience what they need is playing against teams in Europe. Like we play against Croatian, when Croatian the number one is in the world, and we lose 2-1 in Croatian, very good. We play uh, against Albanian, we, we make a draw. It's very good. We play against Paraguay, home. We lost uh, two four, but in the first half was two two zero for us. Everybody was crazy. I say, guys, take your time. Everything can happen. And you see, this is high level. They can, they they still to play high level is play easy and they wait. But for me, it's like how more they're playing against team from Europe and more experience that they will have. Every country, like Nepal, like Taipei, everybody must play against team from Europe. Then they learn a lot of quality, how they must play, how strong the physical is, and how strong the, the, the body needs to kill somebody on the field. You know what I mean? And I can say my players in, uh, in Jordan, they did it. They did it. They learn a lot. They are very strong. They have good mentality, good quality. Um, I hope, inshallah, they will make uh, with the new coach a good result. I hope. Definitely, definitely. And you're like, we have two more before we wrap up. And you know, like, if you had to, do you have any one particular moment in your career which you look back and enjoy when you look back now in your footballing career? I have, I have many, many nicest things, but I, I don't look back. I look always forward. And I hope I can do more than I did now. Uh, for me, it's like I live day by day. I see what will what happen tomorrow. I don't make planning. Only I make planning when I'm with the team and everything, then you make planning. But now I'm looking forward and uh, I wait what, what what will coming is coming. And maybe in August or September, October, I don't know, maybe one team coming and I will talk with this team. I have one team calling me directly from uh, Iraq. I say, no, I'm waiting. But uh, for me, it's like, uh, Give me time for my family, and then I will see what I do. Definitely. So we'll wrap it up with one final question. And if you had, do you have any piece of advice to a young coach who is just starting their career? Um, learn, learn from uh, people on television, but also put your own stuff inside what you have. Don't listen too much to other people. Make, when you are a coach, make good stuff. There you can trust that you can talking with these people. And when you talk with these people, that stay always inside in the stuff. And when you feel something, that one guy is talking behind your back and then put him out. I say always, when you have a box, big box, but full of apples, you know, an apple. 
And one apple is not good. He touch each apple. You know what I mean? And this is what I mean also in the stuff. You make a stuff, strong stuff, you fight to each other, and you have one point. And you say, we go this direction and everybody. And when something has happened, stay in the stuff. Definitely. And I hope that helps a lot of uh, anyone listening. And you know, like it's just general life advice. Also, it's a very good thing to have uh, people whom you trust around you. And you know, like uh, yes, that. Yeah, and uh, you know, like on that note, Vidal, thank you so much for talking to me, and I wish you all the best, and hope to see you back again soon in the touchline. And who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. And what's happening? Maybe I come to Nepal. Who knows? Yeah, definitely, that would be amazing too. So, uh, hope to see you soon again. Until then, take care, stay safe. Bye. Thank you, and good luck for everybody, and be healthy. It's very important. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye bye.